Well, Eva, here we are. Just the two of us. Glad we finally made it. It was a long ass drive. It's like we were on the highway to hell. Oh, I know. The asshole drivers. My butt hurts from sitting for so long. Yeah? You're about it. You're about it. Um, Kyle, no, we've got other things to do here. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be fun. Let's see if it's gonna fun for later. I'm always right. And yes, we will. Go grab the backpack. Come on, big boy. We got some paranormal work to do. I'm coming. been here for half an hour and it's still like nothing. Give it time, it's still early. Spirits are always more active at night. Like you don't know that? Did you remember to put new batteries in the flashlights? Because last time they both died and it took us forever to find the car. Yeah, I remember. It sucked. You were scared shitless. No, it wasn't. They're coming to get you, Eva. Don't even go there. They're coming for you. Stop it, Kyle. <laughs> I'm getting vibes from this tombstone. Nice distraction. No, I'm hearing I'm serious. Come here. Can you feel it? Yeah. I definitely feel some negative vibes coming off this tombstone for sure. This person died a tragic death. I can feel it. Well, let's see if um we can find out what happened. I didn't see you there. Hey, where's the kids? I didn't go to Edmonds to play. Even the little one? Yeah. What made you let him go? I mean, you're usually pretty in inseparable. It was just time for me to let him go. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's not. I should have let him go. I'm here for you. I'm looking out for you. Look, the kids are probably having a great time. You're an amazing woman. <laughs> I'm happy I married you. When I'm with you, I'm not alone. Really? Of course.
Plus, you're a great cook. I couldn't let you get away that easy. I love you. I love you, too. Why don't I put my jacket away and I'll help you finish dinner? That would be nice. Okay. with a knife. Will you just watch the food, please? I'll take care of myself. Let me, let me look at that. I said I'll take care of it myself. Just watch the food, please. Do you know my uh, co-worker, Dean, and his wife, Sandra? He didn't show up for work today. Rumor has any me be getting divorced and couldn't deal with the pressure. He might have quit. Oh. I've been thinking of how shitty of a husband I've become. What? I'm a terrible husband. Look at this house. I've earned this for you, and yet I can't even fill it with my presence. I failed this family, and I'm scared. I'm scared for you. I don't want to just be a memory for you and the kids if I died tomorrow. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm saying I want to change. I want your forgiveness. I don't want to lose you and the kids. I don't want to be like Dean or Sandra or any other couple on this block. I want to rekindle that flame in our hearts. I want to be romantic again. I want you. I, I know I've failed. I feel like I've crossed that line of, of even caring anymore. I've been selfish and I'm sorry. I don't care what you've done. I don't even care if you slept with another man. I wasn't there for you when I should have. And that's my fault. You don't even have to tell me what you've done. I forgive you. If I forgive you, will you forgive me? Absolutely. Can I confess to you? If you promise not to be mad. I really want to get this off my chest. I mean, we can't start fresh if we're not honest with each other, right? For better or for worse. Till death do us part, right?
How could she do that to her own son? Poor boy. Yeah, it was really fucked up. I mean, she must have went fucking nuts. I mean, we've encountered this before, but never with a child. Let's move on and find some positive vibes. Yeah, this one was definitely a downer. There's a lot of uh, sick people in the world, that's for sure. I hope we come across some heroes. You know, someone who died saving somebody. Yeah, I don't know. This cemetery is a lot different than most. It just feels a lot darker. Maybe because it's Halloween. I feel the darkness here, too. All the activity that happens right Did you hear that? There's something out there. It's probably just a skunk or raccoon. I don't know, Kyle. I'm getting really bad vibes from this place. Stop freaking out, okay? You did this last time. It's just Halloween. I'm, We're in a cemetery. I'm not kidding. There is something going... Holy shit! That scared the shit out of me! And really? they almost hit me and all you could do is stand there? I didn't see it. It's a... You know that I don't protect you, babe. I mean, come on. Wait, Kyle. I'm getting vibes from this tombstone, and they're not good ones. Well, I mean, let's check it out. It's Halloween after all, right? <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. For joining us this morning, our top story. Another body was discovered dug up from a local cemetery, and authorities are in need of your help. Despite all the evidence, authorities are left without a lead. Claire Summers has the story. John Hawk is the caretaker of Noble Gardens, Stanley, and when we interviewed him, it was just as that. take me hunting this year. No. Dad. I know I'm ready. No, you're not. Please? I said no. It's bad enough your mother dropped you off this weekend on her time. Well, this is my time, and you are not a part of it. Now get your ass out of here. Yes, sir. Hey. You got a light? No. No, Dad.
What's the bucket for? Well, you said you wanted to go hunting, right? Yeah. Well, this time I'm going to teach you. Sit on the bucket. <laughs> Why? Shut up and sit on the damn bucket. The problem with this generation is you kids talk too much. If you want to hunt, you cannot talk, period. Do you understand? Yes. What part about do not talk didn't you get? Here's a gun. It's a 12 gauge single shot. Do you know what that means? It means you only get one shot. Now, I'm gonna test the waters with you to see if you're even capable of hunting with me. Do not move from this seat. For how long? Do not speak. Do not move. If you want to hunt, you have to learn to become one with the woods. These animals, they hear and smell everything. They can see the slightest of movements and feel the deepest of breaths. Now, I'm going to leave you out here for the rest of the night. If you so much as move just one inch, I'll never take you hunting again. Do you understand? Good. I'll see you in the morning. Dad! Jesus, Tyler, you scared me. You had me worried sick. I thought you're... Ah! 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 Tyler? Oh, thank God it's you.
Tyler? Tyler? Tyler, is that you? Help me! Somebody please help me! Hello? Who's there? Answer me! Please, I need help! I'll kill you! insane. What is this? A cemetery for crazy families? I mean, first that woman kills her son and now this? I think we need to leave. First off, you need to calm down. All right? Not everything is natural death and heart attacks. Homicide's real. Besides, this is all good information for our book. I just hate violence. And I know that we both have a gift for seeing what happened to people. But some of this is really hard to stomach. All right, listen, these stories need to be told. Besides, we could, you, you never know. We might even be able to solve a homicide for the police. It's true. It's the only thing that's going to keep me here tonight. Listen, we're going to keep walking. If we feel any more negative vibes from the tombstones, we still check them out. You promise? I promise. All right, let's go. Something odd about this place. Not like other cemeteries. I would never come to a place like this by myself. It doesn't even seem like anyone comes here. Wait a minute. There's something really dark about this tombstone. We should check it out. Not it seems to be getting darker. But the sun is going down. You're such a smart ass. I'm talking about the energy coming off of the tombstones. It just keeps getting darker and darker. Well, as the sun sets, the spirits come out more active and it's, they're trying to tell us their story. I don't think I want to know what happened to this one. You promised. Let's just get it over with. Gotta hand it to you, Terry, you were right. That was the best steak dinner I've had in a long time. I told you so. Compliments of Betty. It's so much healthier for you to have meat without all those chemicals and hormones in it. Natural meat tastes so much better than that shit with all the preservatives in it. Yeah, but how hard is it to find in these parts? It's getting easier now. Thank goodness for health conscious millennials. Hey, Ben, what's up? You, you turd nugget. Hey, I just pulled up and meet you out in the workshop. <laughs> I just finished dinner. I'll be out in a minute. You know, if I'm a turd nugget, I got some shit you can eat. Fuck you, Joe. Just get your ass out here. I'll be right out. Well, honey, Bill just pulled up. So I'm gonna go out to the workshop and help him clean up that mess out there. Oh, thank goodness. You need to get rid of all the clutter in there and keep it organized. We're going to need the extra space soon. You boys have fun. You sure will. Hey, I'm only gonna be out there a few hours, all right? And um, 
Make sure you invite Bill and his wife over for dinner this weekend. It's the least we can do for all his help. Yeah, we'll do, babe. I'll see you in a bit. What the fuck took you so long, Joe? Did you have to take a shit? What's with you on this shit cake today? We got plenty of shit to do right now. I'm just fucking with you, Joe. I'm in a good mood and I'm just ready for us to have a little fun. Well, the fun is about to begin. There's no way we're getting caught. Because what happens in the devil's workshop stays in the devil's workshop. Can't wait to get me a piece of that ass. Come on, Bill. It's time to get to work. I was hoping to have more fun with these two. I'm here to help you, Joe. <laughs> Enough that noisy motherfucker. Well, shit, I didn't even get to have any fun with him. Look who's on the shit tip now, Joe. <laughs> a good one. At least you get to have a little fun with this one. Yeah, I had fun getting these two in here earlier. This one's a fighter, she is. But it looks like her flight's about gone. Yep, it's gone. Let's get back to work. I told Terry we'd only be a few hours. Sounds good. I'm all the way to see. Thanks again for helping out tonight. Oh, anytime, Joe. Yeah. Thanks for the scraps. The hogs will love them. Yeah, you and Barb should come over this weekend for steak and burgers. Maybe I'll even make some thighs in the new smoker that the old lady got me for my birthday. Sounds like an excellent plan to me, Joe. Oh my god. That wasn't just murder, that was torture. I mean, what if they haven't caught these people? Yeah, we definitely need to call the police tomorrow, that's for sure. Do you think they'll believe us? Well, I mean, after we give them an accurate description of what they look like. Yeah, I did actually. I just wasn't insane. I was too hard to freak out. But uh, I kind of still feel it, to be honest. I'm telling you, those people among us here, I can feel it. I feel like we're being stalked. Listen, calm down. No, Kyle, those stones aren't going to protect us. We need to leave now. Calm down, listen, calm down, calm down. Wait, there's something wrong with that tombstone. It's like drawing me in. I'm really hesitant to say this, but I really think that we should check that out. I'm drawn to it, but I don't, I don't know why. It just, I want to leave, okay? This has to be the last one. Okay, I promise, okay? All right. I'm scared. 
scared of Kyle. She can be afraid of you, but I'm right here. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Let me go. I didn't do anything. How would you scream, you little bitch? No. Just let me go, please. Please. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh. That's a little harsh. That's so violent. Shut the fuck up, you faggot. Faggot. Hey. I've been so rough on me. It's been pretty cold out there. Want a ride? Come on, Cork. Trying to help you out. Okay. You gonna pop in? Okay. <laughs> All right.
think about tonight? Busy. Yeah, we were busy all right, weren't we? Yeah. You know that bitch Sarah? She could expedite half as fast as you bust and wash, we'd be in good shape. What do you think about her? It's not that bad. No? How long you been at the rooster? A couple months. A couple months? How long have you been there? Well, uh, let's see. I guess I've been there... Hold on, two years. Can't stand that place. <laughs> Can't wait to get out of there. You lived in Michigan all your life? Yeah. Have you? Texas. What grade are you in? Tenth. Tenth. I remember when I was in tenth grade years ago. Pretty shitty years. You like high school? It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Got a girlfriend? No. No? Pretty boy like you, you don't have a girlfriend? What do you like to do in your spare time, Mr. Court? What do you do? I think you kind of already spoke to that, didn't you? <laughs> you know what I did when I was your age? Why do you want to know? Why shouldn't I know? I'm your co-worker, right? It's kind of interesting to me that your papa, that you walk home from work on a cold night like tonight, freezing your ass off. <laughs> Find that interesting. Drink alcohol? No. No? You ever think about trying it? Sometimes. Yeah? I just happen to have some alcohol back in my place. How about we take a few minutes and stop on by and just have a little sip? N no. Alcohol. Take me home. Take me home. I have homework. What kind of homework you got? Geometry. 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 You know what? You happen to be catching a ride from one of the best geometry skilled persons you could ever possibly meet. You know what? I'm even better at doing geometry when I've had a little sip of alcohol. <laughs> no, I gotta let the dogs out. Fuck the dogs. We're gonna have a little sip. No. In me. The fuck you touch with you fucking faggot! <laughs> faggot? You call me a little faggot. <laughs> take me home. I take you home. You ever call me a faggot again? I'm gonna beat your ass, you little fucking mama's boy. You ever talk to me like that again? Turn right. 
take me fucking home. Turn right. Well, we're not gonna turn right. We're gonna go straight. So we're gonna go my place and we're gonna have a sip of alcohol. Fuck you! Turn around! Take me fucking home! Turn around! You know what, Court? The way I see things, I'm the one in charge right now. So if I was you, I'd sit there and keep my fucking mouth shut. No, you're gonna turn the fuck around. What are you gonna do about it? Well, call the fucking police! <laughs> Where's your phone, Court? Turn the fuck around. Turn the fuck around! Shut your fucking mouth! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, little boy? Fucking little boy. Prove it. Prove it right now. Hit me, tough boy. You're not fucking going home, bro. Shit! God damn it! Get over here, you sucker! You sucker. Give me! Give me! Fuck it! God! Get back here, God! I know where you live, God! I know where your mommy lives, God! You son of a bitch! Give you peace, Court. I'm coming to get you, Court!
All these gruesome deaths and this evil spirit, this is scaring the hell out of me, okay? There's something not right here. I know, we gotta get out of here. The car's this way. Okay, hurry, right. I don't feel Go. safe. Go around. What the fuck is going oh, shit, on? What's happening? There is no escape. Fuck this. Let's go. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Let's just keep heading towards the car. All right, let's go. Oh my god, I see the car. Yeah, we're almost oh. out of here. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Look at that tombstone. It's glowing. is that? It's so mesmerizing. I don't know, it's like that tombstone is pulling us towards it. No, I don't want to see what this tombstone holds. It's pure evil. What the fuck? Fuck, no! fuck, fuck! Brethren, brothers and sisters, we gather here tonight in unity and sacrifice with Satan to celebrate our tenth sacrifice. The first of the final three sacrifices needed to bring Satan's reign to Earth. After tonight, we will have made ten sacrifices, with two sacrifices remaining. Just as God has sacrificed the blood of a lamb, we in turn sacrifice the blood of a goat. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Do not cry, my dear. Know that you will die a hero. Your life will serve a far greater purpose than you know. You wish to say something, you may speak. 
that you accept this blood of our sacrifice as a gift to you, your eternal darkness, that we may share in your victory, and you shall rule the world. Hail Satan, you shall rule the world with blood, fire, and darkness. Hail Satan, you shall rule the world with blood, fire, and darkness. He has accepted our offer. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! David? Hurry and have some breakfast before your friends come to get you for school. They'll be here any minute. What's the rush for, Mom? My friends can wait a couple minutes if they need to. What's the big deal? If you're not out there, they start tooting the horn. You know Dan next door works afternoons. Dan sleeps, not my problem. Called being considerate. And by the way, you look like crap. What time did you get in last night? Not too late. Bullshit, David. I went to bed at 1 a.m. and you still weren't home. I'm an adult now, Mom. I go out on the weekends. Quit worrying about me. Sunday night is still a school night. You were out with your secret group of friends last night again, weren't you? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be much of a secret, would it? Nice chatting, Mom, but I gotta go. What about breakfast? This'll do. I'm only working half a day today. I think it's time I paid the pastor a visit. You do what you gotta do, Mom. And tell your friends to quit honking that horn. Can't help it if they're horny. Well, happy fucking Monday. <laughs> it looks like David was at one hell of a Goliath party last night. Dude, last night was the bomb. Yo, forget about last night. Where's our donut? This is the last one for after school. So where was the party at? Yeah, how come we weren't invited? Because it's invite only, only certain people are allowed. Let me guess, your secret society? Yeah. Look, we all know he was fagging off to a circle jerk last night. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Rick. I'm doing some important shit. Yeah, like what? I can't say I'm sworn to secrecy. What are you doing? Working for the government? Well, let's just say that it's the future of the government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> government, my ass. I mean, the only thing you're doing for the government is maybe passing around a petition to uh, legalize pot. That's <laughs> all you can do for the government. Speaking of, I got a nice fatty to fire up. That is what I'm talking about. Hey, hold the shit! Wait till we get out of the driveway. Pretty soon, there's gonna be a lot to get fired up about.
help you? Yes, I have an appointment with Father Sullivan. He's expecting me. Please, come in. Would you like some coffee? No thanks, I'm fine. I just really need to see Father Sullivan. Please have a seat. Appointment's here to see you. Her name is Angel. Oh, good. I've been expecting her. Please show her. Yes, Father. Right away. Father Sullivan will see you now. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Angel. Please, have a seat. You look very stressed, Angel. Please, tell me what's going on. It's about David. He's getting worse. His behavior? I mean, is he becoming violent? No, just more and more disrespectful. And he's hanging out with some strange people. Do you think he's on drugs? No, <laughs> probably. But that's not it. I know kids his age experiment. But it's what he talks about. Oh, please, Angel. Continue. Lately, he's just talking a lot about death and the end times. He's hanging out with this secret group of friends, coming in late. And he looks high, almost like he's in a trance. I think he's getting involved in a cult. Hmm. Well, you know, boys his age, they tend to become rebellious. They party, they stay out late. But talking about death, that's something not to be taken lightly. Does he seem suicidal? No, hmm. I don't think so. Have you met his friends? His friends from school are really nice. You know, typical teenagers. Mm. But he's hanging around a secret group of friends. And he doesn't say a lot about them. Even his friends from school ask me about him when they see me out while I'm running errands. You know, you just mentioned something about a cult. What makes you say that? Oh, Father, I found a satanic Bible in his bedroom when I was cleaning. And he's been drawing pictures of demons and pentagrams. Mm. There was even depictions of sacrifices. And he refuses to go to church. Yes. You know, I've noticed you coming here alone lately. I know it's been tough on David since your husband passed, as well as you. I know it's been difficult on both of you, but that can be quite traumatic when a boy his age loses his father. I know lately, David seems lost and confused. Actually, when people lose someone close to them, sometimes they turn from God. But unfortunately, David's looking in the other direction. I'd like to meet with him. He refuses to come to church or talk to you, or any other priest for that matter. Well, perhaps I'll come see him, okay? When my schedule is free, 
probably around the time he usually gets out of school. That might be a good time. You make sure you call me when you know he's going to be at home. I'd like to meet with him. He needs God's guidance. Thank you so much, Father. David needs guidance right now that I just can't seem to give him. Well, you're welcome, Angel. I'm glad to help you and David. I'll keep in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Goodbye, Angel. Afternoon. You have a few minutes to talk before the city council meeting starts. Afternoon, Alan. I think we got about five minutes. Perfect. So, Eric, what do you think about tonight? Are you ready to join? Yes, I am. I've been thinking about what you said. It sounds like a perfect opportunity. Eric, ever since I've joined the cult, great things have been happening. My popularity is growing by the day. You join us, you can forget about being mayor. Governor is more like it after the next election. Then I'll become mayor and follow right along in your footsteps. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while. And I've seen what they've done for you. Hell, I ain't religious. So joining a cult would be perfect. Especially if they can boost my political career. Are you sure they can do that for me? Of course. I wouldn't be where I'm at without them. We have a pact, very secretive. Those who join benefit greatly. You join us, I guarantee you'll become governor. Stay with us, and eventually, you'll become president. He will make it happen. He? You mean Satan? Yes. The leader of our cult is a warlock, and he's very powerful. The devil gives to him generously. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyes. Once the warlock accepts you into the cult, the possibilities are endless. You need to join quickly, though. Much is going to happen very soon, which is why tonight is so important. Well, you can count me president, hmm? Hell, if this goes the way you said it will, Alan, you consider yourself vice president. And in two terms, president. Oh, it will happen, trust me. All these peons out there, they'll keep working their ass off and get nowhere. In the meantime, here's to the future presidents. Satan will deliver. To Satan. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Where do you think you're going? I'm going out. Wait. I got takeout from Kara's restaurant. It's your favorite. I'm not hungry right now. I gotta go see my friends. I had a meeting with Father Sullivan today. You really need to go see him soon. Well, he might be your father, but he's definitely not mine. David, just go see him. Do this for me. It's going to be helpful for both of us.
I gotta go, Mom. Don't wait up for me tonight. Don't you stay out late again. It's an important night. See you later. David. I don't know, Eric. I'm a little bit excited, but I'm worried, too. Like, I ain't never done nothing like this before. Don't worry, Eric. Tonight's gonna be life-altering. Satan knows you're here to serve him. Just do what the warlock says and you'll be fine. We'll do. Brothers and sisters, let us gather tonight in unity with Satan so that we may begin tonight's ceremony. Let us begin. Satan, we ask for your blessing this night as we draw one step closer to your reign over the earth. Grant us a seat in your kingdom. Make us the new kings and queens of your kingdom that we may rule beside you all of eternity. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. I see we have with us tonight a special guest. What is your name? Eric Jameson, sir. You will refer to me as Your Excellence. Yes, Your Excellence. I understand you are a mayor, is this correct, Eric? Yes, Your Excellence. A politician. The true scum of the earth. You seek Satan for political power, is this right? Yes, Your Excellence. You may step forward. You must enter through the gateway. Neil. Brother Allen, as you have brought tonight's special guest, you will have the privilege of assisting me. Step forward. Yes, Your Excellency. Tie his hands behind his back. This is God's blood. Drink of it and join us. Just as God sacrificed the blood of a lamb, we in turn sacrifice the blood of a goat. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Eric, we thank you for your servitude to Satan. Your sacrifice brings us one step closer to his reign on the earth. Sacrifice? I'm here to join you. I'm not here to be sacrificed. Hallen? Eric, did you really think I was going to wait behind you to succeed? Brother Allen, you may return to the circle. You fucking backstabbing son of a bitch! Silence. Satan commands you to be silent and still. The time has come for your death. Satan, we ask that you accept this blood of our sacrifice as a gift to you in your eternal darkness. That you may come back and once again rule the world. Hail Satan. You shall rule the world with the blood, fire, and the darkness. Hail Satan. You shall rule the world with the blood, fire, and darkness. He has accepted our offering. Hail Satan! 
Hail Satan! Three days from now, we will make our final sacrifice, and Satan shall return to rule the world. <laughs> Father Sullivan, thank God you're here. Angel, I got here as fast as I could. You had me concerned. Now you tell me exactly what's going on here. I found a book of rituals in David's dresser and blood on the clothes he wore out the other day. Father, I think he's been involved in a human sacrifice. What? Oh, Angel, you sound frantic. Let's sit down and discuss this. I know it sounds crazy, but that notebook had detailed information about what he's been involved with lately. Almost like a journal. I'm really scared. Do you have this notebook with you? No, David took it. Took it? You mean David's not here? No, I'm sorry, Father. I know you wanted to see David, but I had to talk to you without him here. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, this is very serious. Do you really believe David was involved in a ritualistic murder? That journal gave very graphic details. They coincide with this book. This book talks about satanic rituals and bringing the devil to earth to reign over it. With what was in David's journal and what I've read in this book, I'm really afraid something terrible is about to happen. No, I'm familiar with this book. It's very evil indeed. Do you mind if I keep it? I need to do some research. No, please. Whatever you can do to help. Well, I'm going to tell you what. I don't know how David got his hands on this book, but this is a modern version of an ancient text. This is much more serious than I first thought. Father, I know you've done exorcisms in the past. You may be our only hope. Well, if this is what I think it is, it's going to take far more than an exorcism to stop it. But I'm going to tell you what. When David gets home, you keep him here, and you keep an eye on him. And if he goes anywhere, I mean anywhere, you call me right away. I will, Father. It's bad, isn't it? I don't know, Angel. I just don't know. Damn it, David, where are you? You should have been home hours ago. Hey, Mom? Damn it, David, where are you? Didn't you get my message? I went to a friend's house after school. Yes, I got it. And I've been calling you ever since. What took you so long to finally answer? I've been getting ready for tonight. Tonight's gonna be off the hook. I can only talk for a minute. David, I'm really worried you need- I understand that you're worried. Okay, I promise after tonight, everything's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be better than you can imagine. I certainly hope so. I'm just really confused right now. Damn it, David, just go see Father Sullivan. He really wants to see you. We're done talking about this. Wait, yeah, listen. I gotta go. David, I love you. I love you too. Bye.
David. Oh, damn it. Father Sullivan. Thank God you called. I just talked to David. David's getting ready at his friend's house. And I know it's not for anything good. Angel. Yes, I researched that book you gave me the other day. It was written by a Satanist over 2,000 years ago. Around the time of Christ. It's a translation of an ancient text. He was a powerful warlock who could summon demons. It actually describes a series of rituals to bring the devil's reign upon the earth. Hail and fire mixed with blood shall be cast upon the earth. And you know what? It sounds a lot like the first angel sounding the first trumpet in the book of Revelation. Well, it also predicts a warlock who is a direct descendant of him who has even more power. Now, angel, do you know where David's going tonight? In his journal, he had a map to a wooded area. I made a copy of it, but I've been way too scared to ever go there. Oh, we need to stop this right away. There's no time to delay. I'm coming over to your house to pick up that map. I'm not sure if I can stop this, but I have to try. Please hurry. Him and his friends are leaving. I just spoke to him right before you called. I'm on my way. God help us all. area's got a lot of history to it. A lot of bizarre occurrences have taken place here over the centuries. I mean, even the Native Americans, they refused to dwell here because they felt this land was evil. Well, thank you for the map. Now I gotta get going. I'm going with you. Mm, no, it's not safe. This could get dangerous. Father Sullivan, please. My son's out there. It's all I have left. Plus, if anything goes wrong, you might need a witness. You know, you make some valid points. All right, very well then. We have no time to waste. Angel, this is it. I'm gonna do everything I can to stop this. But please, you stay with the car. And if anything happens, you drive off and get help. Good luck, Father. You got this. Pray for me, Angel. Pray for us all.
It is time. Brothers and sisters, tonight is the night we've been looking forward to. One final sacrifice, and Satan shall return to rule the world. And we, we shall become his kings and queens, and rule with him in unity forever. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Not under my watch, warlock! <gasps> Not this night, or any night hereafter. Well, well, what have we here? A priest. Do you really think you can stop us, Padre? Well, then come try. Stand down. Let him in. I want to face him. You must enter through the gateway. Well. You seem very confident, Warlock. You only know the power of evil. Well, let me introduce you to the power of God. David, I will protect you from this evil. You've been through a lot, and I'm gonna help you turn back to God. You are a fool, Padre. Noble, yet a fool. You do not realize you stand in my pentagram. Your powers are limited here. May the power of Christ compel you. Christ commands you leave these people and go back to the bowels of hell where you belong. <laughs> you are a fool, Padre. You walked right into our trap. Tonight, you will become our final sacrifice. Yeah, well, I just walked into your pentagram. Oh, real big trap. God's power is greater than your pentagram. You stand in my pentagram. Your powers here are limited. Did you not do your homework? Apparently not. Seize him! Now you serve the true master. You'll be a hero. In hell. <laughs> ah, Padre. You are far more naive than I could have imagined. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? Angel, no, not you. No, not you. Not you. You fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> you see, Padre, each sacrifice came from a different walk of life. A slut, a politician, amongst many others. You were the final piece of the puzzle. Satan would have it no other way. Each sacrifice came here on their own will and walk through the pentagram on their own accord, just like you. You're all liars and deceivers. Oh, Angel, how could you? 
Life was getting hopeless. But he changed all that for me and David. All we had to contribute was two measly sacrifices. We sacrificed my husband in exchange to be the wife and son of the most powerful man in the world. It took a lot to get you as the final sacrifice. I could have used a little more help from my son. You brat. I knew you could handle it, Mom. <laughs> you killed your husband. <laughs> and your son's father. How could you? Just as easily as we're about to kill you. No more delays. Silence, Padre. Lay him on the altar. <laughs> Satan, we ask that you accept this sacrifice in your name, so that your will may be done on Earth as it is in Hell. It is done! be caught up in a dream. If this was real, we'd be dead. That's because you are dead. Who are you? Better yet, what are you? I'm the shadow of the night. A messenger of death. Destroyer of souls. We're not dead. Oh, you're dead. Very dead. You were both in a car. Got in a crash and died. And drove straight to hell. Fuck you, demon. Come on, Kyle. Let's Where's go. our car? Your car will no longer be needed. This was a one-way trip to hell. If we're already dead, then what else do you need us for? It's time for me to destroy your souls. <laughs> no! Oh, my. 
my god. I'm here alone. You are not here by yourself, my dear. I am right here with you. No! Just wait till he's done. You've got me next. There is no escape except your fate. Or shall I say, do. Get away from me! Leave me alone! You shall be alone with me forever. Ha, 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 ha.